clawed hand into the brute's abdomen and oh. pulls out an organ. Oh, like damn! Hey guys, NS Machina here. Thanks for hanging out. Today's reaction is the latest creepy pasta from Crypt TV. This is Hospice vs. Brute Split. But before we get into it, please go over and support Crypt TV if you haven't already. I'll leave a link to their channel. Well, I'm going to link to the original video in the description below. Then go over and support my channel. It's very easy. Just go right below this video. Give that like button some love. And if you are new here, please click that subscribe button and ring the notification bell because I put up new videos every single day. And every little bit of support helps. Without any further ado, let go. I never should have opened the door. I was told once that door. years ago that a little girl named Carrie opened the door and brought sure did. upon the whole colony. Oh my goodness. She lost her arm to put the brute back in its hole where it belonged. She didn't run away, like me. I'm in a sterile hospital room now, and still I can hear their screams, taste the metallic tang of blood on my tongue, Ugh. see those misshapen, monstrous teeth oh, that's terrifying. ripped through my flesh like parchment. Ugh. My mother. My father, my whole family and community, uh, within minutes. Uh, sound I effect. can still hear my father's final warning. Lilith, he gasped. The brute catches everyone who runs. You mustn't run. You must face it. I didn't listen. And here I am, lying in a bed alone in Kane Hospital. The only survivor of the brute. For a moment, I feel a heavy presence lurking beyond the window. Oh dear. And I wonder, could it be the monster? Could my father have been right? Did it follow me? Is he just stalking the hospital? How are you feeling, Lilith? I jump as a nurse steps inside the room. No brute, just an ordinary woman. Fine, I muster. A bit woozy they have me connected to all kinds of machines i've never seen before jesus like yeah the i can beeping, tell the artificial lighting the sterile equipment there's nothing like it where i come from faith in the high order was all we were ever told we needed and look how that turned out well you're lucky you turned up when you did the nurse says kindly eyeing the bandage on my leg yeah, probably would have been a goner. You're a lot of blood from this bite mark here. What did you say it was from? For a moment, it's as if I can feel the brute's razor-sharp teeth sinking into my calf all over again. Thing is, if she brings it up, is this nurse going to believe her? I flinch. Never mind, the nurse says, reading my Never expression. Mind. We can oh, discuss maybe she the knows. details later. I turn to consider the other hospital beds in the massive recovery room, all empty. Is it always this quiet here? She eyes them, her kind smile crumbling. Ever since the incident, oh, let's maybe she say does. we haven't had many patients at Kane Hospital. Incident? What kind of incident? The light flickers. Oh! Above us. And oh! I watch the nurse's eyes widen with primal terror. Oh no, no, it's not the brood. It's the monster in Oscar's. Her hands yeah. clutch her clipboard. I knew so that. Tight. I'm sure it's going to split in half. Is something wrong? I ask, apprehensive. He's back, she whispers. The prodigal son returns. A distant scream echoes from outside the room, oh. and we both turn toward the window. Oh no! He's coming! He's coming here! They're gonna f are they gonna fight over her? For us, the nurse says, voice shaking. Who? Not her. Her. I shout, sitting up in bed, growing more scared with every passing second. The nurse looks at me, and the lights flicker out. Oh! For a second, there is only darkness. Uh, then, hello? when the lights flicker back on, I see the door behind the nurse has opened, and a large, hulking figure stands right behind me. Whoa, oh, hello! It's worse. Black as night with burning orange Jesus, that is eyes, fucking and terrifying. And intruding from its ribcage. It looks like the devil incarnate. The yeah. nurse whispers its name. Cain. Then, slowly, oh. 
She turns to face the monster. Don't. Don't. I whisper. <laughs> Don't. Yeah, it's but like I'm it. too late. The monster lunges, tearing the nurse's head oh! from her shoulders with its bare hands, oh, throwing what's shit. left of her body against the wall. I stare in utter disbelief and horror. First, Mistakes were made. Now this. It takes a shaky step toward my bed, then another. Slow, Kane. its head as if examining me. I'm certain I'm about to meet the same fate as the nurse. I shut my eyes, oh. begging for a swift death, uh. letting out an involuntary uh. sob. And then I hear it. A horrible, blood-curdling roar that can only oh. belong to one creature on God's Brute. given earth. I Brute. open my eyes and spin to see on the opposite side of the large, empty hospital room. The Brute. There he is. Just like my father said, I watch monster fight. its fleshy muscles ripple, and it bares its jagged teeth at Cain. Cain clenches his fists. Oh, God. White nails, seemingly growing even longer. Oh. For a moment, both monsters are still. I lie in the middle between them, paralyzed. And then, without warning, Kane catapults himself toward the brute. Oh! The sound is oh! a crack of thunder with a lie. Oh, they shit! skid across the linoleum floor, snarling, staring, biting, each and oh! the other. I know I should stand up. I know I should run for the door and never look back. But I can't keep my eyes off of the carnage. But even if you run, that could distract them and they would go after you and tear you apart. So probably best to stay where you are. The brute, larger and more vicious. And also the whole not running from the brute thing. Slam came against the floor. Oh! Again and again. Oh! The linoleum cracks from the sheer force of it. Oh! With his signature move. Bruce he fucking him up. His teeth into the black monster's neck and rips out a chunk of bloody, rotting flesh. I know because I watched him do it to my mother with my own eyes. I expect Cain to react, to cry out, to roar with agony, but Cain feels nothing. Cain, I realize, is not a monster. He's a corpse given wretched life. With a violent thrust. Cain plunges his sharp, clawed hand into the brute's abdomen and oh. pulls out an organ. Oh, like damn! I've ever seen. Oh, damn! It looks like it's pulsing. The brute. Oh, the crap! React. It flies backward, scuttling across the floor, gasping in its own grotesque way. Is brute done? Cain rises to his feet and looks at me, triumphant. His pride. Can like this is His my territory, bitch. Seem to burn a hole into my chest, charring my heart into a crisp. I can't breathe. I can't speak. I'm at the mercy of this undead perversion of a man. But just as I'm sure Kane is about to pounce to make mincemeat of me, the brute throws itself in front of my hospital oh. bed, roaring into Kane's face, challenging oh. him once more. Almost possessive oh they're fighting over me it would almost be romantic if they weren't both hell-bent on ripping me to shreds. <laughs> yeah pain doesn't hesitate that one little he jumps, his pincer like tusks opening to enclose the brute in a lethal embrace i can see the tips of the tusks piercing the flesh on the monster's back oh. digging in deeper and oh. deeper but the brute isn't crying out anymore. All right. It opens its fetid mouth. We got a stalemate here, folks. Crack open wide, and the misshapen teeth take hold of Kane's face. Like a kiss of oh. oh! Both monsters collapse to the floor, overcome by the other. And I realize this is my chance. I look at the door, then at the bandage on my leg. It may be injured, but I'm sure I can still make it. For a moment, I hear my father's warning in the back of my head Don't again. Don't run. You mustn't run. You must face it. But I can't face what I have done. Not oh, to my home. No. Not to my family. You're going to die, not then. Not to myself. 
I have no choice but to run for whatever is left of my life before either monster That's ends suicide, it. girl. As blood spews from the brute's mouth and Cain's tusks shred into the monster's back. I do it. I get up and run toward the door as fast as I can. It's gonna distract them. I don't dare look back. But the moment I touch the cold handle of the door, I sense it. A prickling along the nape of my neck, like I'm being watched. And suddenly I realize I am standing in absolute silence. The inhuman roars, the gnashing teeth, the blood spurting. It's all abruptly stopped. As if both monsters have come to a truce. They're staring at you, girl. I slowly girl. turn the handle. And as I do, I sense from the periphery of my vision both monsters on either side of me. Don't look left. Oh! I tell myself. Oh, don't you! Don't look right. You done fucked up, girl. Perhaps if you are brave enough to simply open the door and take a step, no. you can walk out don't. of this hospital unscathed. No! No! But as Running is what got you in trouble in the first place. A black, oozing hand suddenly grabs my outstretched hand. The hand of Cain. Oh dear. To my right, another hand curls around my shoulder, fleshy and pink oh, and God. smelling of death. Oh God. The hand of the brute. Are they gonna rip her I apart? Can't help it. I turn my head. And oh! At once, I feel the did whole she? world. Did she? No. Did she? Oh! Blood explodes all no. around me. I hit the ground with a thud, or part what? of me does anyway. What? Oh! Yep. Me. Yep, ripped it too. Oh my god, there's a spine right there. A bloody stump where my stomach should be. I bend down to see the brute looking right at me. Shouldn't have run. The carving in his head. Shouldn't have run. Of the door I opened. Of the colony I allowed to be destroyed. Of my feet running, running, running away. And now, gone forever. Brute, brute. I gasp, blood gurgling from my mouth. Go back in your hole. The last thing if I only see you said that the sooner. monster's teeth flashing toward me. I never get to say, and spare the living one more soul. Because you had to run, all of your people are dead. More people are going to be dead. And now you're dead. Because you didn't listen to your father's advice. Wow. It's, it's, I never thought I'd say this, but sometimes running away from the monster isn't exactly the best decision. And this proved exactly why. So that will do it for another Versus Creepypasta episode from Crypt TV. What did you guys think? Please let me know down in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed, please leave a like, share this video, subscribe if you have subscribed already, ring the notification bell because I put up new videos every single day. And I'll see you guys next time.